Hello? Oh, no. Wrong number. You know, it's hard to imagine that there was once a time when telephones were not within quick, easy reach. Today, we carry them with us. But it was not always so. In Augusta, all that changed in July of 1879. 77 subscribers had signed up for Augusta's first telephone service. Telephones were so novel in 1879 that the Chronicle reported a list of everybody who owned one. Almost all were businesses. The no-call list probably arrived soon after. That summer, almost 140 years ago, the American Speaking Telephone Company opened in Augusta. It opened in the Western Union Telegraph office at 617 Broad Street. The Chronicle was one of the first customers and embraced the new technology. The development of the system has barely commenced, the Chronicle wrote, and it seems impossible to foresee any limit to its extensions. The Augusta Phone Company, which became known as the Augusta Telephone and Telegraph Company, grew by 1900, it had more than 900 subscribers. One of the new phone service milestones took place on February 19, 1895, when Augusta and Aiken were connected. A member of the Chronicle's staff made the first call to the South Carolina city 20 miles away. Southern Bell took over Augusta Telephone in 1905, also taking over its then 2,297 phone system. Expansion took off. By 1910, there were over 4,000 telephones in town, and by 1960, there were 57,000. Today, who knows? Cell phones are part communication, part computer, part compiler, part companion. Welcome to the information age.